We're back in our one-line tests hypothesis test video. In this video, we're going to focus on the hypothesis test for a single proportion. And so here, our null hypothesis is that the proportion is equal to 50%, and our alternative is that it's less than that. In effect, looking at how frequently wind, fall, wind generation fell below capacity, during the Texas 2021 cold snap. And so in our previous lesson, we went over how to do the randomization procedure for this, um, for this test. And we start off with simulating random data using random binomial. Then we calculate the original or the sample distri sampling distribution of proportions calculate the data sample, and then we plotted it and eventually got a p-value equal to zero, which led us to reject the null hypothesis that um, the wind actually felt below capacity less than 50% of the time. So if we want to make do the one-liner test for this, it involves a couple extra steps. We're still going to be using that stats.scipy library. But before we can actually implement the test, we need to define two variables. The first is success rate. And so this is the how often we were successful. And so here, wind uh, success rate is defined by the length of wind, in which wind was above. 6.1 above capacity. And then we need to define the sample size, which is just the total number of variables or data points. And so then our actual one line test is stats.binom underscore test. So binomial test, we give it x equals our success rate n equals our sample size. And again, we specify the alternative equal to less. And if you were doing a right-tailed test, you would change this to greater, for example. Um, but in this case, following what we did up here, we're going to do a left-tailed test. So we can run this. We've got a, a warning that, um, that this command is currently being phased out. So eventually we'll need to use this new command binome test, but for now it's still working. And essentially it automatically prints out this P value here. And so because of that, we can compare to this and look that they're very similar. Once again, our one line test is showing a bit more specificity in that number, but is still very, very close to zero. So again, we reject the null hypothesis.